everybody, I'm not sure exactly what it is that really made me want to do this video, but for some reason, thinking about things being overrated or underrated, particularly overrated, which is why this video is titled the way it is, for some reason I've been thinking about that a lot lately and how we really consider things to be overrated, like whether it's a TV show or a movie or video game, whatever it is, it can be considered overrated. And it's one of those things where it's like a weird technicality that really nothing is overrated. It's just we kind of say it is. And really anything that's considered overrated, it's not that it's like too good or like or anything like that. It's really just a bunch of people like it and you happen to be one of the people that don't like it. So when there are a ton of people that like something, it's it gets to a point where it's like, oh, that, that's just overrated. But it's weird that we have that just because it's the same thing with, you know, using bad words. You know, you can say thanks, and that's considered good, but if you say, like, you know, F you, that's considered bad. That's just us as human beings. We kind of made things that way. And I don't know why, like I said, I just, it's been on my mind, so I wanted to make a video about it. And it's one of those really weird things. Like, The Walking Dead, I think, is a good example of something that's considered overrated by some people. And it's one of my favorite shows. I love it. I love the comic books. I think they're really well done. Even the games that are made for it, except for like that one game. Um, most of the games are pretty good for it as well. But some people do consider it overrated. And it's like, yeah, it's just, it is really another zombie show. It's written well, like a lot of things with zombies in it. Everything is really just the next of that thing. But if it's written well, then it's written well. And I personally love The Walking Dead. I know... Of course, a ton of people do. That's why it's so incredibly popular. That's why we have The Talking Dead. Like, a show doesn't get really popular, or, you know, a show it doesn't suck and still gets a show after it, where it, all people do is talk about it for an hour long. After the episode just went off, you don't get stuff like that for crappy shows. And it's one of those things that's really weird. People consider it overrated because they don't like it, but that doesn't make it overrated. That doesn't make it, like, suck or anything just because you don't like it. It just means... Instead of it being like maybe a couple of your friends told you about it, like all of your friends are telling you about it. It's just one of those weird things where mentally we have like our checks and balances and it's like, okay, you know, down here it's kind of underrated. And I do believe underrated can be a real thing. I think overrated is kind of fake, like we make that. But I think underrated is definitely a real thing because it's really being underappreciated. Like that's exactly what underrated is. But being overrated is not like you're overappreciated or anything like that it's just a bunch of people appreciate this and you just you know there are a lot of people who don't like it but it's it's one of those weird things when something's overrated it's a very a very rare example of the good outweighing the bad which is what you typically get in pretty much everything just like with whether it's law or like something really serious or it's something as silly as like a kid's show typically speaking the bad always outweighs the good like that's you know, those people are typically the loudest when someone does something and it's like everyone's mad about it. You always hear about the people who are mad because those are the people that, you know, make the most fuss. That's what happens. That's what we see and that's what we hear. And then when something's overrated, that's one of the rare examples when it's the opposite where the people who really appreciate it and say good things about it are the ones you hear more than the people who don't like it. And it's kind of funny and I actually like that because you know, just the world in general, all you ever hear is, like, the bad of things, especially with the internet. You can, you know, be on YouTube, and it's just, like, you'll see a, a bunch of comments where it's just, like, I hate this, this person's not as good as that person, all this negative crap, and then you get those comments where it's, like, hey, I just, you know, thanks for making this video, because it made me laugh, or something like that. It's simple things, but you will always get the people who are either genuinely just like mad for whatever reason or you'll just get trolls which of course happens a lot on the internet as well but considering something overrated i think is very unfair to whatever it is like whether it is something like the walking dead or it's a book or something like that or anything really it's just like you know i think an even better example than the walking dead i think is honestly um twilight i don't really like twilight i there are a lot of people that don't. That's one of those, like, perfect balance things. Like, it's still, it's doing great, but I don't think I've ever actually heard anyone say, like, yeah, I just loved it all. Uh, I've met, I think, one person who actually read the books and did like them, and, you know, the, even they didn't even really like the movies as much as they liked the books. So it's one of those funny things. But it's not exactly overrated. It's just, of course, a ton of people like it, a ton of people don't like it, and then there are other things like The Walking Dead where... 
you don't hear people say they don't like it nearly as much, so it kind of hits that overrated status, but it's really funny. Like, there's things that have been going on for decades now, like South Park. I've never once heard anyone say South Park was overrated, and you probably never will, but South Park is, like, one of the biggest things on television, and it's been going for years. It has a movie. I wish they would make another one, because they made a movie, like, really early on, but, you know, it, it's... I've personally never heard it called overrated or, you know, I'm sure it's happened here and there because it's just, it's so, anything that's super popular will be considered overrated at some point. But I've personally never heard it. You you don't hear nearly as much as you would like something like The Walking Dead, I think. And it's just kind of funny. Like, you don't hear stuff like that with certain things and it's just, if something's still fairly new and I think that's one of the big things that really hits you at the status of you're just overrated at this point. The newer you are and the more people like you at the same time, it's like the worse it kind of gets for other people who don't like this certain thing. And that's when something like quickly hits like overrated status. And a good example I have that's finally different from The Walking Dead would be Call of Duty, I think. I love video games. If you're a subscriber of mine, you probably already know that. If not, I love video games. Like, just all games, I love them. Call of Duty, I've played... I. I haven't played since, like, Call of Duty Black Ops. I think that was the last one I played. But those games are admittedly very similar. They're all pretty much the same. I personally like them for the single player way more than the multiplayer because I just don't care about it. It's just run and gun. I like a good story and stuff. Those games can be considered overrated easily because there are so many people where it's like, Call of Duty's, like, the biggest game ever, and it sells more than a lot of other things except for Ghosts because apparently that one just really sets across the board. But, typically speaking, fans of Call of Duty just love Call of Duty, and it's like, it's Call of Duty, it's amazing, and it's one of those games where people are like, it's the best game ever made, and these are people who, like, don't even play other games, like, I've never played another game, like, I don't even play other games, but it's it's the best game ever made, and I always think that's kind of dumb, but that's really, like, a totally different story. But Call of Duty is, like, can be considered highly overrated, considering just everything about it, like, it comes out... You, it doesn't do anything to really approve upon itself that much. It has some cool stuff, like the new one that came out of Advanced Warfare. It's like, yeah, it looks, it of course looks much better. It has some slight improvements here and there, but ultimately, it was kind of the one where a lot of people wondered, is this the Call of Duty to, like, jump back into because it's great again? And pretty much everyone was like, no, it's, it looks better, and it has some new mechanics with, like, exosuits and stuff. But ultimately, it's still just Call of Duty, and there's really nothing to it. It's not super fancy. But the game will still sell like crazy. The people are still going to love it. People are still going to spend hours upon hours and days upon days playing the online multiplayer because a ton of people love that game. And then there are a ton of people who are in the gaming world or who even game casually. And it's just like, I kind of hate Call of Duty just because of the mentality that is kind of involved with it now where it's just like, you know, preteen kids kind of cussing people out and stuff like that. So I think that's another really good example of things being overrated. And, you know, like I said, I had no real purpose to making this. It was just something I really wanted to talk about. So kind of had to make a video on it. Of course, if you guys do have anything that you consider overrated, then, you know, let me know if you, you know, want to go back and forth on what you, you know, what my thoughts are, what you guys think about stuff being overrated or what you would classify as overrated, like, I consider it just a ton of people like it, and then, you know, you're, like, I can't say, like, you're the odd one out, because, of course, no one's ever alone in anything. There will always be millions of people that share this same opinion as you. It's just, you know, based on television and your media circles, really, that's how you hear more about this than you would about something else, so... You know, that's how I would classify overrated, like when people say something's overrated. It's just that a lot of people they know like this big thing because it's just blowing up. And then they f they might you might feel like the odd person now, and that's how I classify it. But I want to know what you guys think. What do you consider overrated? You know, of course, like I said, what are your thoughts on what I think, you know, as far as nothing being overrated? It's just you don't like it, so it's probably the nicest way to have an argument is just to say I think something's overrated compared to you know once again what you might see in YouTube comments where it's like you know F you and this and that it's like I just wanted to say I didn't like it and so it's much easier to just go with I think it's overrated but that can still be dangerous because you know it's the internet but thanks for checking this out please of course comment below all your thoughts and ideas and things like that and thanks for watching